Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Sold video for today. It is Sunday night. Um, we wanted to get a head start on tomorrow's sales and we're actually heading out tomorrow uh, to go on our little mini vacation for the week. So uh, we just need to get this stuff done tonight. We've been kind of super busy all day. I actually didn't get today's video live until just a few minutes ago and like it's like 9 30 now so super late um so yeah we've been kind of just trying to get prepared for our trip all day we're really tired but we want to get this stuff done tonight so we don't have to do it tomorrow we'll be able to focus on the trip so um we're gonna follow kathy around and see what's old hey guys all right let's start with the kid is in uh, so box a d sold uh childhood and this guy sold for $37.95 free shipping. I believe I paid about $35 for it to begin with, so my son did get some wear out of it. The shipping cost me $4.15 through Kitizen, and I made back close to $30 on that. Um, so not too bad. And then box K. And then just some little Nike shoes. Uh, I believe these are the Kevin Durant. So these, I've had them listed for a long time. They're a little dirty. Normally I can get 20 to 25 for Nikes, but I didn't clean these at all. So I only paid $2 for them. And I sent an offer to someone who put them in their cart for 15 free ships. So uh, shipping cost me $4.15 for those as well. And yeah, not huge money, but <laughs> probably made $7 profit or so off those. Uh, then I sold a pair of sandals. Yeah, these ones sold for $30 free ship. That was an offer I sent, so I have 10 into them, $5.15 for the shipping, so I at least doubled my money, maybe made like 12 bucks off those. And then box T, oh, actually this is a bundle, and um, it actually, I'm pretty sure she's a viewer, although she didn't say it this time. I feel like she's bought from us before, so. Mm. Uh, Abigail, she bought a four item bundle. Uh, let's pull the first item, because she's saying what she's saying is about this first item, so. Okay. <laughs> so the first item is this Genuine Kids. It's like a corduroy Sherpa line jacket. It's cool. This jacket is my, like, favorite jacket. Yeah. <laughs> my son's had it in a few sizes. Uh, so anyway, she wrote, Did you ever watch the TV show My So-Called Life of very young Jared Leto? Or Leto? I, Jared I Leto, watched yeah. it very long time ago, but <laughs> I don't remember anything about it. So, um... Played Jordan Catalano, and this was his signature jacket. Love it. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I don't. I did watch it as a teenager, probably. Yeah. Um, but I don't remember anything about the show at all. So thank you, Abigail. Uh, let's see. She also got box B I. Oh, is this Where way? We <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's late, guys. <laughs> Peak Kids, uh, it just says like Lincoln Highway. It says something on the back too, but I can't remember what. <laughs> and then uh, box AE. This is a gap, it's like an ice cream bathing suit. And then last but not least, DL. I'm actually glad you bought this because I was going to take this to the consignment sale. Oh, she bought the pink. What is that, a uh, Porsche or something? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about cars. <laughs> a pink Barbie car. <laughs> yes, so she got all these four things, and I had sent her an offer of $55 plus shipping, and she accepted that. So thank you so much, Abigail. Yes, Abigail, uh, we do believe you're a viewer, so we appreciate your, <laughs> your support very much. Thanks. Hope you like the cool retro jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I need to find another one in a next size up. Right, and the last kit is in sale was these other play sandals. These ones sold for $27.55 plus shipping of $5.15. So, not too bad. All right, on to Mercari, box A, D. So this, I just bought at Goodwill like last week for $0.99. Cents, and I listed it on Mercari for $20 plus ship. Someone offered me $16 first day, first hour, I think even that it was listed, and I accepted that, so I'll 
take 99 cents into 16 dollars any day yeah any day all day every day <laughs> another viewer sale to destiny she actually just bought something from us the other day so she's spoiling me <laughs> um so another one of the third love bras and she offered me twenty dollars plus she paid shipping so i was happy to accept that so destiny thank you again yes thank you so much for destiny your continued support and friendship <laughs> she's been here since the beginning of our channel and we're going on one year at the end of this month and she's watched basically every single <laughs> video commented on them all we appreciate all the support, Destiny. Yes. Alrighty, and then in box J. So this sale, it made me a little bit upset, but <laughs> mostly because, I, I hope this is not a viewer. If you're a viewer, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, so this is that animal print, like, eyelash cardigan I got mm. from the bins for my stimulus check challenge. I think I started this listing at 20, but I let it price drop all the way down. It was down to 12. Um... And then a buyer asked if I would do 14 plus shipping for that plus this halogen blazer, which I was very happy to do because this I had already pulled from inventory and put in my garage sale box. So honestly, I was gonna yeah. have zero dollars for it. I only have 84 cents into this, but it's been listed for like two plus years. So anyways, yes, I was like, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Cause I would have basically given this away for free for anything. So I was in the middle of making a bundle and if you sell on my car, you know, there's no really easy or good way to do it. Uh, sometimes I make a completely different bundle, but then people can't usually figure out how to find it mm -hmm. or like if they're a buyer only. This time I decided since she was messaging me through the eyelash cardigan one, I was just going to add the pictures from the blazer to that listing and then you know change a couple things in the description to say it was for both so i'm like in the middle of editing everything and she just buys it at the 12 dollar price mm. without me switching it to the 14 which i know it's only two dollars but <laughs> it was just annoying because i know she knew what she was doing um, by doing that so yeah because you guys like, had talked about the price before right, she asked if i would do 14 and i right. said yes and then i started making the bundle and she must have been watching it and before i yeah. could even finish editing it and saying okay it's ready she just bought it when she saw mm -hmm. that it was 12 dollars still so i was mad <laughs> for like a minute and now i'm getting <laughs> mad again but it's really not a big deal so yeah i had 84 cents into the blue thing that i was gonna basically donate and then the eyelash card you're gonna have like a yeah. dollar in so Anyways, I think I made seven dollars off this bundle and maybe got a few more gray hairs, but it's okay. <laughs> and yeah, like she said, it's not that big a deal right. this time, but that could have cost us a lot of money, I mean, right? I thought about canceling it just to That's be true. kind yeah. of petty, but <laughs> yeah, there's no sense I mean, being that petty not over $2. for that. So I mean, yeah, if it was like a fifty dollar pair of shoes or something, I yeah, would definitely, but. Yeah. And if you are a viewer, <laughs> sorry, but that is kind of how we feel about it. Um, and well. Why I was most annoyed is because she's a seller too, and yeah. she has several, uh, at least over a hundred reviews, I think. So mm -hmm. she knew what she was doing, and that's kind of yeah. what upset me the most. <laughs> that's just the dishonesty, right? Little, right? Like the <laughs> we're we're disappointed. We're not mad. We're disappointed. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, Reese, he does. He hasn't eaten yet, so he's staying close <laughs> by. Uh, so this is a pair of LeBron camo high top sneakers. I've sold several of these and they've all sold for a good amount. These ones probably sold for the least, but they're uh, like a little kid toddler size. So they sold for $45 plus shipping though. And I was happy with that. I got them at Once Upon a Child for 10, so pretty good deal. Yeah, those LeBrons do really well, especially the camo ones. All right, and then box AU. Or this guy sold for $14 plus shipping. It's a Pete Kid shirt. It has a smiley face. And on the back, I think it says something. <laughs> I thought I forgot again. <laughs> so, anyways, that one, yeah, $14 plus ship. I paid $3 for that at the Dillard's Discount Shop. So, not huge money, but not too bad. I had a multi-quantity of it as well. So, one listing, several. That's the first one to sell. But mm -hmm. uh, more will sell off eventually. And then, oh, last but not least, A-N. These are some, 
I never know how to say this. It's the B-O-C, but it has, like, periods in between the letters. It's the born lower end line. Mm -hmm. I always just say Bach. But Bach I'm or B-O-C. Sure it's probably not. B-O-C. Right. So, anyway, these are just some, like, faux tooled leather plugs. Um, I got them at Salvation Army for $5.99. I sold them for $20 plus shipping. So that was it for Mercari and Kitizen. Then let's do Poshmark first. So we sold another pair of those play shoes. So I'm very happy these are finally starting to sell. Yeah. It's always hard when, because I bought them at the end of last season when nobody's buying these kinds of things anymore. Mm -hmm. So obviously I got a good deal on them, but in return I've had to wait six, seven months and then it feels like nobody wants them. I wasted yeah. my money, but now they're, now that it's actually time for people to use them, they're selling, so. Uh, these ones, someone offered me 29 on Posh. I had them listed at 35 and I accepted. So I have 10 into them, so not too bad. And that was really, like, your, really, your first real big retail arbitrage, right? Yeah, and I mean, I think I spent 300 on all oh, of yeah. them. So it, it's not like life Earth shattering, yeah. <laughs> so if they I mean, never it would... sell, I figured I could at least get my $10 back at the consignment or locally yeah. just on Facebook Marketplace. So, yeah. It wasn't a huge risk or anything. <laughs> All right, so box I. Hopefully it gave you a little bit more confidence, though, in taking yeah. those. Well, I still have, what, three of those Livy boots. Yeah. And those have been over a year now. But, I mean, I made my money back on the deal. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, these are some DC shoes. And these I paid $5 for at Goodwill. I sold them for $20 with discount shipping. So I made, like, $15 in change. So about a $10 profit on those. They took a while to sell, though. They were, like, a youth size. Youth sizes, I mean, other than, like, Nike and something like that, they usually take a while to sell for me. All right, and then last Poshmark sale. Oh, just kidding. I have two more Poshmark sales. So CB is down here. This was a good one. Uh, so these are the Keen Unique sandals. And these I bought for 10. I listed them for 59. Someone offered me 50. I was happy to accept that. And then last Poshmark sale now is AC. Right, so these are just some Nike athletic shorts for men. Um, we pulled them from the closet, what, a week or two ago, and so I don't remember what I had in them. They weren't in my spreadsheet. Since they were in the closet, I'm assuming they came from, like, a garage sale type fill bag. That's what most of that stuff was, um, or from the bins at some point, but I don't know. I know for sure I wouldn't have paid over five for them, but, uh, someone offered me 15 and I just took it because I've had them for who knows how long, <laughs> so yeah. That's about what Nike shorts sell for for me. The logo was slightly peeling and stuff too, so I thought that was a fair price. Yeah. And then AA. Uh, these are some Abio, Abio flip flops. <laughs> uh, that's a good brand. These have like a serious arch support in them. Mm. And they sold for $25 plus shipping. I only paid $4 for them. So nice little flip on Facebook. And then BX. So these were also Facebook and Crocs for 15 plus ship. Uh, this person did ask if I would take 12, but I said no. <laughs> so, because all my other Crocs have sold for 15 plus ship. So I knew that they would eventually, so I wasn't desperate enough to yeah. take 12 <laughs> yet so yeah 15 plus shit those were from my 65 pair day we're really getting close to the end of that and i'm right. very happy so i did want to mention i was just texting with my friend Alyssa, who comments on a lot of our videos so uh she had a bad experience on facebook marketplace i hope she doesn't care that i'm sharing this <laughs> um but yeah i've already been like a little bit leery of just posting there altogether because of the lack of um, customer service mm -hmm. at all so anyway she was saying she had a customer claim item not as described and Facebook just refunded the customer and is not making the customer send the item back or anything so 
refunding the customer with her funds, right? She has yeah, to refund well, the customer. I mean, yeah, like Facebook holds the funds until it's delivered right. for five days. So essentially she never got She's the She's out funds the money yet, but, and out this item. Right, which is just so messed up to me. Yes. And so like that's kind of the reason I've been worried all together. And just that there's nobody to talk to if there's any problems at all that arise. So I don't know. I don't trust people enough. And there's not enough feedback or anything on Facebook right now. So... I mean, we're putting our thing on vacation, at least for this week, yeah. and then I'll have to decide what I want to do going forward. I probably definitely won't be listing anything super high valuable. value. Valuable. Yeah. Like, I mean, so she's out the product. Um, I mean, technically, the buyer pays shipping, I think. Well, it depends on how you set it up, but we always do buyer pay shipping, so mm -hmm. we wouldn't be out the shipping because they would have paid for the label. But yeah, I probably don't want to list anything that I paid out of pocket more than like five bucks for just right. because if we're out something, I don't want to pay out more than five bucks. And I don't think it's going to happen. You know, there's some dishonest people, but yeah, it's just like on the other platforms. It's not like every day. So I don't know. Just want to be more careful until they have, it's still really new. So yeah, until it's just more figured out, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully that was okay to tell that story, <laughs> Alyssa. So uh, I'm really sorry that happened to you. That's, that is, yeah, that's just... and that's not the first time we've heard that. We've actually heard that from a few, um, maybe not that exact situation, yeah. but some, some red flags, something to be like concerned about with yeah. from <laughs> quite a few of our viewers. So, yeah, and I think it might work out well. Like next month, we're going to be listening to eBay first, and yeah. you know. It, it might not work its way down to to Facebook. I'm sad because we've had a number of sales for how much I've listed, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> my sanity is worth more yeah. than sales. Yeah, so. we don't need those extra sales yeah, those, at this point. Just like just like that sale with the twelve dollar, fourteen dollar thing that it just upsets me and like gets me in a bad mood. Right. So even though it's not really, I don't care about the two dollars or whatever. I would just be mad about that for the rest of my <laughs> life, probably. <laughs> uh, so. Anyways, <laughs> on to eBay sales. Yeah. All right, a DL. Yeah. Look at me, I'm strong. <laughs> There's like one pound of stuff in there. Uh, this is just a Hurley tank top. So I sold one last week, I think, and then mm -hmm. this was my second one. So this one sold for fourteen oh three, free ship. Uh, it's only three ounces, so it only costs like three oh six to ship out, and I had paid about three dollars for that. And then Crocs are actually up here, which I don't normally put Crocs up here, but these were some big ones. Big Crocs. I couldn't fit them in our plastics, <laughs> so yeah, they're just a men's size thirteen. Um, men's Crocs always sell like the fastest for me, out of all the Crocs. So. These ones sold for twenty six thirty six plus shipping in about two days of being listed. I had an offer on Posh of twenty the first day I listed, but uh, my cost of goods was technically eleven ninety three only because when the day that I bought these, I did like an average cost of goods. So these only were like eight bucks, but I had some shoes that day that were like fifteen and then like eighteen or something. So. I just divided them all, and so they all came out to eleven ninety three. So I did not accept that twenty dollar offer the mm -hmm. first day because I saw comps on eBay were about thirty to thirty five plus ship. So I listed at thirty plus ship, and yeah, we have a sale running. So they paid twenty six thirty six plus ship, and what was I gonna say? Oh, I did calculated shipping, so I knew I'd probably pocket a dollar or two extra on that as well. Mm -hmm. All right, A X. Right over here. This is something I bought end of season clearance last year as well. So it's the brand Drew, which I've never sold before. But uh, the retail price on it was like 200 something, which I know that doesn't mean anything. And mm. this only sold for 35.16, But I only paid $5 for it. So I was very happy with that. Um, it shipped out for like four something, so not too bad. Drew, is that like Drew Barrymore or I something? Don't, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> it's just like a fancy brand. I think they sell it at Anthro and stuff. But mm, okay. 
you know, I'm more into Crocs and cute stuff <laughs> yeah. than oh. fancy, cute women's <laughs> linen jumpers. AZ. What was I looking for? Tommy. A Z. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what I'm pulling from here. I hope I'm not like missing it. Tommy. I must have written down the wrong letter or something. That's not good. Well, we'll find that. But in the <laughs> meantime, another Tommy. Oh wait, I feel like I looked this up. Oh, it says A2, not AZ. Oh. <laughs> it's because it's so old. Right, right. That's why it's confusing. Okay. <laughs> so when we yeah, originally so. did this inventory, we we did start numbering each of the bags yeah. individually. It's like, okay. <laughs> so A2, this is a Tommy Bahama like pullover. I've had this for over a year for sure, maybe like almost two years. Um, I only paid two dollar, no three dollars for it at Salvation Army, and it sold for only seventeen fifty six free shipping. Uh, luckily, it was under a pound, so it cost like five seventy something to ship out. So I didn't lose any money, but I made a fairly small profit. <laughs> and then box AA was another Tommy Bahama. And this one I made an even smaller profit because. So this is a new tag. I bought several new tag Tommy shirts for ten dollars a piece. The rest of them all sold off like right away. This one ended up in the death pile closet because it had, even though it was new tags, I don't know, it was like snagged like all the way through the front, hmm. and it's like silk. So, anyways, yeah. Because of that, I listed it low. I just wanted to get my ten dollars back, and I did. And I think I made one dollar profit above that. So it sold for seventeen fifty six plus shipping. We're gonna need a bigger table. <laughs> <laughs> I do still have a few more to grab. So CX. This is a funny and sad story. So these are some Chico's jeans, and I don't normally sell Chico's, but I got these from the bins. And I listed them as a size 15 because I thought that's what the tag said, mm. which I should have known that Chico's doesn't do those sizes. And then a viewer. I don't remember her name. She messaged me on Poshmark, and I don't think I ever wrote her back because I'm a big fat jerk. But <laughs> she told me that they're not 15, they're 1.5, which makes oh. sense because she goes does like one, two, three, like they have vanity sizes. Right. So yeah. After she told me that, I still took forever to relist them. But I've had these in my inventory for like two years because they were listed as the wrong size. They also weren't cross posted. They ended up selling on eBay. I just put them on eBay a few days ago as a size 1.5 and mm -hmm. not a 15 and they sold for 21.96 free ship so they're gonna go in a pad of flat rate ship out for about 7.76 i paid around a dollar for them thank you to the viewer yeah if you're still a viewer yes, please <laughs> let us know um oh. yeah you helped me sell my chico's jeans and now i'll never make that mistake again so yeah we appreciate it yeah i don't know how i didn't see the like decimal in between but yeah that made me feel silly <laughs> All right, and then box S. All right, so these are some floral crocs. They sold for $20 plus shipping. I picked these up last week at Salvation Army, so $5.99 into them. I think we can make it without. How many more you got? Going down, maybe like three or four more. Yeah, we, we can. All right. We can stack them. <laughs> so CE now. I just think I just pulled this from the closet. Um, it was a, it's a Janie and Jack linen button down. Uh, I bought this for my son, but he was gonna wear it for Easter. I tried it on him, but I don't like the color. Like it doesn't look good on him. So mm -hmm. he's gonna wear a different color, but I sold this for just $12.49 plus ship. I only bought it for $4. So I just wanted to get my money back. All right, and then box T. Something else that was just our sons that I didn't want anymore. Uh, these Hannah Anderson shorts I bought off Kid is in for 10. Sold them for $17.56 free ship. Uh, shipping was like $3.58. So made my 10 bucks back. That's about it. And then box S. 
these are some Allegria. Allegria. Yeah, Allegria? No. Yeah. I think it's Allegria. I don't think it. I think it's the Spanish word for. We need to like do a Google Translate. I did. I, <laughs> I just never remember. I mean, he sold for. I sent an offer to a watcher, twenty-two dollars plus ship. I got those from the bins from the stimulus check challenge, so about a dollar into twenty-two plus ship. Not too bad. Then last but not least, making sure I didn't miss anything on my chicken scratch note. I had to go sideways today too. <laughs> All right, last but not least, BT. So these are just some polo golf shorts and they sold for 35, 16 free ship. I bought these for seven at TJ Maxx, so yeah. Uh, shipping was like four dollars some change on those right, that is it we do have a few still outstanding payments on ebay i think three now which yeah. i don't think two of them are going to pay one of them just happened like an hour ago so i'm gonna send them a message before i go to bed and at least just tell them hey we're heading out of town tomorrow if you want it before next weekend me to send it out before next weekend you got to pay by like tomorrow at 10 so. yeah uh, but yeah, I did call eBay to, today just to ask what happens if these other two that bought it like four days ago pay as soon as we leave. And they just said, I uh, like, we won't get any bad marks or anything. So, yeah. Or so we're told. I guess we'll, we'll find <laughs> we'll out. Call them back if uh, we do get any bad marks. So. <laughs> we really need to start recording those <laughs> conversations we have with eBay, huh? I don't even know if that's allowed, but yeah. Well, I don't care if it's allowed. We'll do it anyway, and we'll use it if we have to. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up. Um, and then we'll probably just see you in the morning. I saw this video is running a little bit long, but we'll see you guys in the morning. And hopefully we have some more sales to put out before we head out. All right, guys, we're back. We did get this stuff all packed up last night. Reese's still in. <laughs> He's not yet. <laughs> He's probably sad with all the suitcases. <laughs> so, yeah, he's been kind of stressing out, seeing us pack all day. We have got all packed up, but we did have a few more sales we need to get out yeah. for this. So let's follow <laughs> Kathy around. All right, so DG. This Abercrombie floral button-down that I got at the bin from my stimulus check challenge. So that just sold for $12 free ship. That was an offer I sent out. So a dollar into it, about three fifty to ship it out. I think I made like five or six bucks off of that. Sold another bra. Man, every day. <laughs> it's gonna be a big thing I wanna do when we get back. Yeah. Somebody did ask where we get our bras. Um, oh, yeah. These were all purchased at the bins in one trip. It was like a miracle yeah. trip. <laughs> I never looked through bras at yeah. um, the normal thrift store just cause, well, I. I still don't like selling them. I'm really happy that I found these because they've been selling great, but I don't like listing them. I don't like storing them. I don't yeah. like shipping them. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I'll... I'll go out of my way to look for them, but if I'm at the bins and see some, I'll still pick them up. So, this one sold for 20 plus ship. And, yeah. And if you are interested in checking out that video, I think it was the... It was your birthday trip. Am yeah. I right? So, it's like a birthday bins, birthday haul. bins haul video you shouldn't shouldn't have a hard time finding it but i'll probably link it up here all right so then that was it for ebay we had several more car resales uh, dc i'm really happy this one sold this was so cute i i thought it would sell right away i've sold the same one before and it did sell right away uh -oh. Oh, pause that. <laughs> sorry um so this is an ll bean like a fleece pullover it's like a color block and it sold someone asked if i'd take 28 i had it listed really high just because i liked it <laughs> don't price your items emotionally <laughs> but that's probably why it didn't sell that fast um but it's over 28 plus shipping so still really good i actually paid two dollars for it at plato's closet because they had it priced at 12 and i had a ten dollar like reward so two bucks into 28 plus ship not too bad uh ck I freaked out first. <laughs> I was like, I don't, these shoes should be really tall. I put them to the side. Sideways, right yeah. Oh, some Reebok CrossFit shoes. Uh, these sold for, an, someone offered me 29 and I just accepted because I've had these for a while. Um, 
I did pay eleven ninety nine for them, so I'm only making what ten eleven dollar profit. But mm -hmm. at this point, I just want to move some stuff. Yeah. We're gonna be listing it home when we get back. So yeah, move those, and then the same person actually after I accepted that offer offered on our other CrossFit shoes in the same size. So these guys we've had since last August. These ones are like a nice pair. Yeah. Like really nice. More of like a weightlifting. I've I would have kept them if they were my size. Yeah. So. He offered twenty nine again, and I just accepted these ones. I had paid twelve ninety nine for, so again, like a ten dollar profit. But sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I was really sad because I don't know if men's thirteen is just not that great of a size. I don't think they're very them. common. I mean, obviously, there's but men yeah, that are like size these, thirteen. I sold like a pair like this before for like eighty bucks. So I'm sure if yeah. I relisted, I could have got more, but I just took the bird in the hand with that. So and he got two really good deals. So. Yeah. He did pay shipping twice, but yeah. All right, and then last but not least, no, two more. <laughs> so they're both an A. So A L. I just thought these were cute little slippers. Um, they are wool. I do not know how you say this brand. I think it's German or something, but it's G I E S S W E I N. Um, and yeah, I just thought they were super cute. They got a little mushroom and a deer on them. I got those at Salvation Army for $2.99. I sold them for $18 plus shipping. And last but not least is one kit is in sale. Right, this is something I just listed a couple days ago. It's just the brand Tiny Whales. Has a little pigeon skating. Is that a pigeon? I think it's a pigeon. Okay. <laughs> And on the back it says, let the good times roll. So that was my sun shirt. I believe I got it off Kitizen for either nine or 10 bucks. Uh, this this came straight from Tiny Whales. They sell all their samples on Kitizen. If you just search Tiny Whales, they, they have really good deals. The per item price is kind of high, but they always have like 50% off if you buy four or more items. So anyways, that's why I only spent about nine or 10 bucks on that. And yeah, it sold for 15 free ships. So I probably made my money back. And that's about it. So you can kind of see in the back here, it did snow last night. We actually got more snow than we did during the uh, so-called blizzard. Um, but the streets are nice and melted. Nothing that's going to slow us down from our vacation. Um, we are putting eBay on uh, time away. And uh, we kind of wanted to show that real quick. It's pretty easy with eBay. Um, all I did was if you go up here to help and contact and then search time away. Uh, it's hard with one hand. Search time away and then click down here. This is just what I did. And then you can go to the time away settings um, and we've already scheduled it, but it's very straightforward. You kind of go in, we did an automatic message response. So anytime we get a message, it'll just say, um, we're out of the office until the 26th. We'll answer all inquiries on the 27th and shipping will go out after that date. And then we set the dates here and then we set it and it updated. Let me see what it is say. I think I left it open. Yeah, it said we've scheduled your time away. We'll automatically update the estimated delivery date for your listings so that you don't have to. You don't have to ship your items during the time away. No need to make bulk updates or changing your handling times. So. That's awesome. That was pretty easy. And I don't think we're changing the other stores, right? Yeah, so Mercari, I think it said you're supposed to ship in three days. So I rarely get full prices. I will say I've been getting more since I do all the, when I let my items price drop themselves every mm -hmm. day. <clears throat> if I get a full price sale, I'll just definitely message them and say, hey, is it okay if I ship this day? Otherwise I can cancel. Yeah. Um, if I get an offer, I will message them before accepting their offer saying, happy to accept but it won't ship till saturday so poshmark i believe has five day i believe <laughs> so i was looking them all up last <clears throat> night and i feel like i'm getting them all backwards we put facebook completely off just because i'm still unsure about what to do about that yeah facebook was easy um, i they only have less than 50 items listed probably anyways i will but, say yeah. facebook it was i don't think you could do it from the computer but if you go into your phone in your settings on your marketplace, it, it should be pretty straightforward, like vacation mode on off. It's like a toggle switch. So, So yeah, I'm not changing off the others on Kitizen. I usually just 
you can edit your shop name like I'll just do that right now so if you don't know how you just go to your me tab at the bottom click this little screw wheel thing uh, edit profile I'm just gonna say I'm gonna put it before my shop name next I'm just gonna so they don't have an actual vacation they do, mode but I'm oh not they do using it okay next shipping So that's what a good it, way to get 27. Yeah, we'll be back on the 26th, but shipping Saturday on the 27th might be a very busy Saturday for us. Yeah, so now my shop name is going to say this is my new shop name for a week. Uh, next shipping 327 gingerbread threads. So if I change my shop discount, that'll you know, it'll they'll see that next shipping 327 first. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm I plan on messaging anyone that buys anything right. at all. Just because I won't be able to handle not shipping for more than a day. So, yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. We've done it before. It's been a while when we went on our cruise yeah. last time. We weren't getting the amount of sales that we have now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But we won't be listing anything new. I'll probably share my closets, maybe, but it, like just in the car while we drive. Other than that, I don't plan on doing a whole ton of work. We do plan on sourcing quite a bit, and I think we're going to do some. Um, thrift hauls and stuff like that as we're out try to make it a little bit fun and still keep you guys in the loop um we're not really trying to get away from everything we're just trying to spend a little bit more time with the kids and you know just slow down a little bit so um but yes we are packed up kids are anxious ready to go it's it's right about 12 o'clock so we're gonna pack these last sales up off camera and then head out. So thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this What's Old video. And yeah, if you're interested in maybe seeing some vloggy kind of thrift hauls, you know, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.